that just before they managed to finish off whatever was available, uh, you can still see some uh, bits and pieces of uh, it gone there. And I found this book by a chap called Reverend M. Desa, Re Reverend Michael Desa, whom I later on learnt was from the village of Moira. Uh, he's got a nice epitaph in the cemetery, but I didn't connect at that particular time. And then I discovered that this guy was a writer, a very competent writer of verse, somewhere, somewhere in the 1930s, it's published somewhere around 1933 or so. <coughs> he published this book, unfortunately, you know, if you don't get a, that little push, however technically good you might be, you often just end up in obscurity or you don't continue writing. He had written several other scholarly works, like the history of the Catholic Church in India or the history and the history of the, the church in Dhamma. But uh, this is a, a thing which unfortunately didn't get ahead. He's practically, if, it, if the uh, uh, white ends, the red ends had got it, what do you call those ends? White ends. White ends. <laughs> white ends. <laughs> <laughs> they had got at it. I think, I, don't, I doubt there's any other copy of this in Goa. I think there's one copy in the um, uh, British, <coughs> British Library, not Central Library. I, I don't think it's, uh, maybe if you can find out, it would be great. Uh, I could even see if, if the, the catalog of the United States uh, Library of Congress is one. Anyway, uh, I wrote a, a, an essay on that recently. If you'd like, uh, you can look at look at it on your mailing list. I posted it over there. Uh, just to introduce to you what kind of writing he's got. I'll just see one of his small poems for you. And I'll pass this book around if you'd like to look at it. Uh, he wrote two or three long poems. Big ballads, you know, consisting of smaller lyrics, whole narrative poems. One of them was, of course, that that one about.